always start recording by having some water and always start watching my videos by drinking some water stay hydrated hey losers i'm i'm trans i'm trans as hell uh, i've been out for quite a long time and hang on I've been out for quite a long time and I think I've had my fair share of trans joy experiences. Trans joy, what is that? I need a drink of water, hang on. <laughs> always start recording by having some water. And always start watching my videos by drinking some water, stay hydrated. Trans joy, what is that? I would define it as the feeling of getting immense joy out of successfully doing something that helps your transition. It can be a kind of euphoria. Um, it can be being gendered correctly, it can be like a million different things. It's just the feeling of, thank god I'm finally feeling like me. <laughs> Which is great, we love that feeling. Awesome, love it. I know trans men, and I know they like dinosaurs, and I am one of those, so obviously I like dinosaurs. Uh, I'm not the hugest dinosaur fan, but I think they're pretty cool. And I was thinking, thinking? I was thinking that today I would open some of these they're like bath bombs i think you like put them in some water and then they like ooh, it fizzle out so when was my first feeling of trans joy um actually let's put some water in this first before i completely tear into them it's green though <gasps> yeah uh when was my first feeling of trans joy i think it was probably before i came out before i even realized what being trans was i was very young and I may have told the story before. I was climbing a tree with my friend and he turned to me and he was like, you're so cool, you're practically a boy. And I was like, whoa, I so am. It made me really happy because I didn't fully know, didn't really know who I was yet, but I knew I didn't like being a girl. And this idea of like, hang on, someone else sees it in me that I'm not what everyone thinks I am. <laughs> it, it was nice. It was, it made me feel all nice. And I just, I don't know. It was kind of the recognition and it was kind of the it was a great time for me how do i open this because it's got like a plastic seal on it i think i have a oh, i have a box cutter in my work pants trousers Tr sorry i've been talking to a lot of americans recently Woo. um my most recent uh experience with trans joy has been in work i've had a few guys recently gender me correctly which has been great and it's not even like a huge deal but it's just when they say like young man that's like oh, like you did it oh my god but also whoa like i don't have to go overboard for someone to see me as a guy talk valentina ally which is great and i feel a little bit privileged that i can pass that way i i think i've really worked up to getting to where i am sorry i'm kind of edging you with this ball uh, can i say that yeah I'll, I'll i'll put it in a sec but like yeah it's i've been out for a long time and i've had a lot of people sorry there's like a hair in there i've had like a lot of people assume that i was a girl I can't form sentences today. I can't. <laughs> I get a lot of people at work misgendering me and I get it because I have a very feminine voice. I'm not on testosterone, I'm not on anything. I'm not able to be on anything for a few years yet, but like, it's nice to be recognized. <laughs> okay, I, can you guys see this? Oh my God, it's like foam. I don't know if I have enough water. It's prop, it's like a soup. <laughs> Yummy. Do I touch it? Do I? It's like slime. This was a bad idea. <laughs> this was a horrible idea. <laughs> Why did I do this? Am I a dinosaur now? Is this a trans experience? <laughs> Look at this mess. Oh my god. Thumbnail. Yeah, honestly, like, I'm getting a lot of guys at work uh, gendering me right, which is great. Not so much with the women. Maybe they can just, like, since my uterus or something i had a guy the other day he was in like a not a wheelchair but one of the like motorized ones and he came up to me and he was like young man because he needed some help getting something <laughs> he was like young man and i was, I was like whoa that's never happened before and it was great honestly like i need some tissues hang on i was low-key so tempted to get three of these for the video and i'm so happy i just bought two because my fingers are turning green um and that's not supposed to happen for a few years oh this is fun this is a really good sensory experience well done me i think my first like 
proper trans joy as in the context of doing something very trans. It was when I wore my first binder. For a bit of context, my family is very, I don't know, they're not super supportive of my transition. Wait, I need to put my laptop on charge. And it's not like they're horrible about it or anything, but it's more that they won't use the right name and um, they're probably not cool with me like binding or anything, which isn't great. But the first time I got my first binder, I had to put it on in a field uh, with a friend. It, there was no one there. They, they helped hide me and I don't talk to this friend anymore. They're not a very good person, but that's okay. I still had an amazing memory with them. But yeah, I just remember like, like, hunched over like trying to get it on and they were like no you need to like because <laughs> they'd worn one before and they were giving me all the instructions and yeah i just i i st stood up with my chest like flat and i was so happy i for the first time in a long time i felt like me because i think growing up i always had issues with my breasts and with my chest oh this is oh, oh. i feel like a witch making a potion i'd always had issues with my body especially my chest. I was never allowed to buy a binder. I tried sports bras. I basically lived off sports bras at this time, um, but it didn't work for me the way anything else could. And oh my God, I see a, I see dinosaur. <gasps> I see dinosaur. Can you guys see it? <gasps> it's in there. I feel like I'm working at Nickelodeon. Like, <sighs> actually, maybe I don't say that. I don't want to work at Nickelodeon, thanks. No, thank you, Mr. Schneider. My hand is properly green. I'm so happy I didn't put these in a bath, like in a bath that I'm in, because I really feel like it would give me fresh. Yeah, look at my hand. It, I'm, I'm shrectifying. Yeah. So apparently you can collect like six. I should have put this in earlier. Ooh, my, my mouth is going through the little. <laughs> um. Yeah. Apparently there's like six that you can collect, and there's a golden one at the end. If we get the golden one, I will do what the top comment says. There's not gonna be a top comment. And there's not gonna be a golden one, so I don't have to stand by that. Oh my god, guys, I just emptied the water and redid it. And I can see most of the dinosaur. I, I, I feel like I'm giving birth. Oh my god, oh my days. Wait, that's tiny. I paid two pounds for this. This. What the f is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> what is that? This is the packaging. This is the packaging and you're kind of expecting something maybe like that big. The bath bomb's like that big. You're expecting like that. This is what you get. And I I would get it if it was like a well-known like like a like a cool anime character and it was tiny like that's cute. Girl, I think this is too small for Barbie. Like okay, right. Jesus Christ. I'm very disappointed in that. What was that? What was that, Audi? I mean, I, I bought toys from Audi, like what did I expect? Okay, well this one's also green, which is great. It does say they're green on the front, but if I get another red one, I think I might kill somebody. La 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 la. What would happen if I dissolved it in the packaging? If I just like... Would it be less messy? No, of course it wouldn't. That would be more messy, because I... Ooh, looks like it's got bowel problems. <laughs> Yay. No, okay, that's just gonna take forever. I'm not about that. Anyway, trans joy, I've really gone off topic. Yeah, I I think another huge moment of trans joy for me was when I got my hair cut for the first time. Um, sorry, I'm wearing the angle isn't very good now. Yeah, cause I kind of begged for like short hair for a long time and it like, cause I, growing up had really long hair and I liked it then and then I just didn't which is valid sometimes you just do sometimes your taste changes yeah and that made it kind of harder for me to get a cut I think because I had always been the kid with like Rapunzel length hair it was a bit like whoa <laughs> you're not doing that which is a bit silly but whatever I got it cut and I remember going out with my friends and they were really nice about it and they were like oh my god like <gasps> finally seeing the real you and I was like whoa and it was kind of that feeling of like looking in the mirror and being like I feel good about the way I look <laughs> which is not a good thing to not feel for such a long time but I did feel it eventually and it was great 
I think trans joy is such a magical thing that cis people don't get to experience and it can be in so many forms it can be transitional it can be meeting a trans person for the another trans person for the first time finally having like someone you can relate to on these things it could just be having rights that's great i don't know going to pride for the first time i still haven't been to pride um i want to make a video about why i didn't go this year and why i really regret not going uh because i do really regret not going i need to take this out before it like let me just replace the water <laughs> kind of looks like green moss agate i don't know if you guys can see i think that's the crystal i'm thinking of <laughs> yeah no uh trans joy is magical and i am so excited to experience so much more of it i don't think i got it in the same way that other people do a lot of people either don't get it for a long time and then suddenly like bam they transition they meet new people they get all this like whoa all these milestones are happening or they come out early and they have the right environment to transition and it's like whoa amazing i didn't get that i kind of came out and then i slowly had very very small things and now that i'm an adult i feel like i'm kind this i'm like leaning this bowl on some cardboard by the way it is really like <laughs> deteriorating um i was gonna use that for a project whatever but yeah i'm i'm just so excited to experience more of it i'm excited to properly go to my first pride because i've i've been to pride events but i haven't been to pride you know like i've been around the city on pride day but i, I was more just like going on a day i didn't actually go to the fest not the festival why well, it's kind of a festival i didn't go like to the parades but you know i'm excited to go one day I'm, I'm in brighton next year so i'll go then i'm excited to i'm excited to get top surgery but yeah um i am so excited for all of it it's gonna be great oh my god I think we got another orange one. I think we got another orange T-Rex. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream all my days. I, I guess I gotta empty it again. I really should have gotten a bigger bowl. I, I, I didn't really think this through very well. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna make a video where I open some dinosaurs and talk about trans joy. So two of these cost four British pounds and I just want you guys to know that. <gasps> Hi, Harry. Hello, baby. I don't want to get this on you because you'll lick your fur and you'll endure some toxins. Guys, everybody say hello to Harry. Um, she's my cat and she's great. <laughs> oh, baby. You know, I'm kind of not really bothered about this dinosaur anymore. I just, I kind of want my money back. It's expensive. I guess it's orange like you though. Okay, no, that's my drink. Oh, I got it out. I got it out. Yeah, it's another one. Not another one. Not another one. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Um, we got two of the same dinosaur. Uh, we had a little talk about trans joy, and um, and I got ripped off. But you know, it's all okay because I had a great time doing this, and um, I hope you had a great time watching. If you enjoyed this video, obviously press all the buttons and follow my shit wherever the button comes up. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Just like live a good life, I guess, I don't know. If you did like this video where I open silly toys and talk about serious uh, queer topics, well not serious, it's not so serious, but where I talk about queer topics, um, please do let me know because I enjoy the hell out of these videos and I love making them and I love editing them and I love the whole process. So yeah, uh, defo like let me know and i will make more um because i enjoyed it and uh yeah thank you please press all the buttons goodbye mm -hmm.